On October 4th, 1990, I was backpacking my way from East Hull to Howensee and came across a park in Hatfield. I was walking down the lane at about 8.30 p.m. with a full moon that lit the place up like daylight when I spied something strange in a gap under a hedgerow. I kept looking at it, wondering if it was a cow or a deer. I thought it looked like it had a dog's back legs. But then I thought, hold on, where's its front legs? At that moment, a friend of mine happened to be driving past and offered me a lift. And when I got in and looked back at the field, I could see this dog standing there. I said, look, look, there's a dog standing in the gate hole. My friend just looked at me and told me I was just working a lot of hours and needed to get some rest. To be honest, I had nightmares after that. For years, I kept waking up, not every night, obviously, but some months would go by and I'd have another one. And the recurrent nightmare is that this thing jumped out of the gate and just ripped me to shreds. And I woke up screaming some nights with sweat. Even though I'm into that, I just could not believe what I saw. From then on, I became obsessed with going on solo expeditions to try and catch another glimpse of the creature, but kept it under wraps from my family until September 2015. One morning, I was exploring some private woods when I found an enormous pile of poop indicating a large creature had been in the area recently. And that was only the first strange thing. As I was coming to the stream, I thought, what's that smell? It was putrid and really foul. Then I heard this big thud. I thought, what the heck's that? So, I stopped and this thing stopped. I assumed it was one of the men who work in the forest, so I called out, but got no answer. I kept walking, and the thuds kept following me. All this time, the hairs on the back of my neck stood up. The smell was putrid. I got on all fours to see through the bracken, then I got back up, and it got back up. I started walking slowly, and this thing was following me. Then I sped up, and it sped up. I thought, bloody hell, what is this thing? When I got to the end of the bracken, it bowed off to the right of me, and I was going to the left. When I got to the end, I just glanced over, and there's this, I don't know what the heck it was. I don't know what to say. It was huge and hairy. Why I thought it was a dog man is because of the smell. I am convinced it wasn't a prankster wearing a costume because nobody knew I was going to be there. They're private woods. Nobody walks through there. I couldn't make out the creature's face. All I could see was a mass and hair. I wish I'd got my phone out and taken pictures of it. What this large thing was, 
I don't know. But it wasn't human. I know that. Another thing was when I was going into the woods, you could hear animals moving around. But just as I got in, everything went silent. Like there was a giant bubble. It was really weird. I like to think these things are real, but I'm open-minded about the supernatural. I do really think these things move about the country through green belts, aka areas of untamed wilderness. I've had loads of stories of factories where there's a green belt out the back and something's going crashing through something large that we just can't explain bigger than a deer massive and black only 30 percent of the uk's total land mass is urbanized with the rest made up of farmland and marshes and forests so there's plenty of space for something like that to run around. Now I understand why the opening scenes of the movie American Werewolf in London really hit home. Where the two Americans were traipsing around the marshes and forests. <laughs>